Hello, this is Sean Thigpen for FilmmakingCentral.com. Today I'll be showing you how to enhance your DVD projects by taking advantage of the subtitle track's extra functionality. By adding a text or graphical button to the subtitle track, you can have your program branch off to scene-related content such as storyboards, behind-the-scenes photos, making of featurettes, or whatever else you can think of, and then automatically return to the program. So let's get started. After you've imported your assets and set up your menu and track like a regular DVD, you'll place markers where you want your extra content to be available. It's important that the first marker be set both as a chapter and button highlights. Set your second marker where you want to end the subtitle. Feel free to name your markers whatever is most logical for your project. Now with your markers set, Put the playhead between them, then right click in the subtitle track and select Add Subtitle. A new subtitle track is automatically placed between your newly created markers. In our example, we'll be using a graphic, but you could do the same thing with text. In the subtitle menu, select the Choose button and browse to the graphic file that you want to use. Next, double click the subtitle track and then draw a button over your graphic. Now, assign the target for this button. This is the additional content you'll be linking to. In this example, I'm linking to a short slideshow of still shots. The next step is to add a blank subtitle track on a different subtitle layer. This is to get around a bug that some DVD players have in which it would always show your graphic track regardless of user selection. Finally, we'll link it to the menu using a couple of very simple scripts. To link the normal viewing mode, create a script and set the first line to choose your blank subtitle track, then jump to the feature. To link to the special view, create a second script and set its first line to choose the additional content subtitle track, then jump to the feature. The only other thing to do is to tell your content item to go back to the original track so your viewer can continue to watch the program. It's not necessary to use a script for this, that's just something that helps me keep things a little more organized on bigger projects. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and if you'd like to see this technique in action, be sure to check out the original Matrix on DVD, as well as Monty Python and the Holy Grail's Special Edition. Both, incidentally, use the White Rabbits as their graphic. If you'd like to learn more about me, you can find me on the web at seanthigpen.com, as well as at twitter.com slash seanthigpen, all one word. On behalf of FilmmakingCentral.com, thank you for watching.